In this video, I'll show you where you can begin and how to finish the Suspicious Minds Lost and Found side quest in the Solar DLC for Dead Island 2, which gives you an amazing reward of fuck all. But in all honesty, this is kind of a two-part side quest. We're going to put two different videos up because it is two different quests. So obviously on the website, it will have two different guides. We just need to make sure that we link everything in. But the first Suspicious Minds basically sets you up to then start Suspicious Minds B-side. You're going to be able to find a link for that down below the like button, probably in about an hour if you're watching this as soon as it's gone live. If you're a day or two later than when I've published it, it will already be down there. Now, you need to do a lot of work in order to get a pretty crap gun. It's essentially, you're working towards a caustic nail gun, which in itself is not too bad. But considering the hell you have to go through to get the thing, it's basically a gauntlet that you have to run through traps rather than enemies. Now, given how Dead Island 2 functions, the traps can be an incredible pain in the ass to actually navigate through. So once you're all set and ready, go to the backstage, go into the door where the workbench is and collect the we've been watching you note next to the workbench and then get yourself over to the eco lounge where you need to make your way through a series of traps leading you through to the bar area. Essentially, there's a few barrels in there. What you're trying to do is blow them up whilst not dying. That will then burn out the room. Once that's burnt out, you can go in and loot a chest which contains nothing. Steady J, this is a flammable situation. What? And I do mean, what? How many people are in on this? So with that done, we then need to make our way over to Fusion Point, where the next challenge will be Shock. Pretty much everything in the local area will be traps that lead into electrified traps, and obviously they can kill you very, very quickly, so make sure that you've always got some medkits on hand. Make your way through, try and avoid the enemies as much as you can, take them down if they aggro towards you, which they more than likely will do, but try and avoid using shock damage for the most part. And then once everything's down in the local area, you're then free to loot the next chest, which will again contain fuck all. Traps. I'm on the right track. If this is another dud... Someone's got an issue with someone else, and they got an issue with me. But why? Right, now that we've got both chests of nothing, we now need to go through a very tough section in the south section of Utopia through a locker room which is absolutely full of caustic eggs. There's a lot of rig shotguns in this and a lot of trip wires. We're also going to have a butcher that's going to ambush us right about here. So we'll take this mush down. Once he's down, we'll then make our way through. One thing I will say about the traps in this area, if you have a pistol or any sort of weapon that can fire a good high number of rounds in a clip, that will help you out massively as rather than getting close to the trip wires, potentially lining yourself up for a trap, 
shoot the trip wires, most of the time they will just deactivate. Every now and again though, they will set off the trap and avoid these floor plates like the plague. You tread on them, you're pretty much dead. Once you've navigated your way through to the left side, which I do recommend going in from the right just to try and avoid as much damage as possible, you're then going to be able to loot another chest which contains nothing, thus concluding the first part of the Suspicious Minds Lost and Found quest, where your reward is a paltry 1000 XP. Now like I say, give me an hour or so, we are going to have the um, Suspicious Minds B-side quest up and done. If not, then just make your way over to Fury Bar, start the next one, it will be available on your map, and then it's simply a case of making your way through to the back area of the Eclipse nightclub. Again, taking out a lot of tripwires on the way, loot the chest that's on the bridge, escape the ambush, and then basically take down anything that stands in your way until you finally manage to get your hands on the caustic nail gun, which, to be honest, isn't worth the effort. However, for completionists, get on with it. So if you're a fan of these quick straight to the point guides, subscribe for more, and I will see you on the next one. This one's a tricky fucker, but, but I'm hooked. To the Fury Bar.